Hi gorgeous people. So today, Blue Monday or Brew Monday, which we go for. I'm going for Brew Monday, as you can see by my um, very own Boston Brew Mug. Check me out on Etsy, designed my own. Um, <laughs> bit of plug there. So um, originally it was known as Blue Monday and the reason for that is that the third Monday in January is considered to be the most depressing of the whole year. The reason for that would be things like um, a lot of people have overspent at Christmas and uh, feeling the pinch somewhat now, especially before payday, if you have regular paydays. Um, also, you've had a lot of time off, then you're back at work, so you're probably feeling the strain of that. Some people have piled on the pounds, perhaps, over the break and eaten too much, perhaps drunk too much of all the wrong things, um, not perhaps feeling as fit as we would like to, there may be New Year's resolutions that people have decided to put in place and they haven't actually happened yet. Or if they have, then you feel like you failed because you've stopped at, at doing these things that you wanted to do to make yourself feel better. Um, also, it's kind of, it's a lot colder, wetter, kind of greyer this time of year than it is at uh, many others also. Um, this year, of course, to compound all of the above, we're also, have lockdown, still, still lockdown. What is going on there? Anyway. So um, we're gonna have a, a little bit of a, a natter about that. Um, the Samaritans actually came up with the idea of, of Brew Monday, very good people to reach out uh, to, very non-judgmental -judge and um, open 24-7, 365 days of, of the year, volunteers. If you do wanna support them, by the way, uh, text SAM, S-A-M, five, to this number, 70470. So that's SAM5 to 70470. And that would um, send £5 donation to them. Or you might want to do a bit of your own fundraising and stuff because it's nice to uh, be good to those who've been good to us, isn't it? Um, so anyway, yes, yeah, so a Brew Monday has been created to help beat the January blues. And I know a lot of people are feeling really disconnected at this time. So what I would say, I want to address those points that we've talked about. So uh, one, one, we've said overspending at Christmas. Well, yeah, um, it's a thing, isn't it? I mean, the only thing we can do now is just try to sort of batten down the hatches and be more sensible. I think it's quite easy, um, you know, to keep getting takeaways and treating yourself because we're in lockdown and it's cold and we're indoors. But just try to treat yourself in a different way. I think maybe you could cook with other members of the family or your social group. Um, or, you know, yeah, I like cooking a great big cauldron <laughs> of stuff, a huge meal that can, you know, I can give half to my mum and I can uh, share with all my family and so on. So, you could perhaps do do a bit of good stuff for, for other people. That often makes us feel a lot better in ourselves as well. But just try and think of how we can cut back on spending as much money and feel healthier. So there you go. That's what cooking's a, a good thing for that. You don't have to be a brilliant cook. Um, you know, is there some exercise that you could do to feel fitter, to feel a little bit less sort of bloated and, and so on? Just think, is there anything that you could do? Just going for a walk, would you like to do like an online Zumba class with one of your mates? So, someone that is, is game for stuff that you could do. Um, you know, perhaps you could... Um, do an online meditation or mindfulness class or, or a little session. And the other thing is, like with weather, there is a saying, isn't there, that there's no such thing as bad weather, only inappropriate clothing. That's what Forest School like to say as well. And I think it's fairly true. I don't always feel like going out, but once you do, as long as you're really nicely wrapped up, actually the cold air on your face at this time of year is quite lovely and we are getting the odd bright day as well but even if not really important to try to get out every day even if it's only for 20 minutes so yeah and obviously the, the sort of fifth point of there really was the lockdown can't do much about that I'm afraid at the moment but we just have to make the best of it so let's try to sort of reach out to people that might need support at this time there's some really great resources as well actually on the Brew Monday um, Samaritan's site and it talks about things like um, how to spot when something might be up with somebody you know if they're perhaps normally they'd be really up for doing things and they're sociable and responding to messages and they're not and you're getting a feeling that they're you know they're not as sort of 
uh, perhaps more distracted and not as happy as they normally are, perhaps a bit more tearful. Maybe they're drinking or, or even taking drugs to cope with their feelings. So those are sort of signs that really are worth, are worth um, looking out for. And then it's about opening up a conversation. So try to open up a conversation with open-ended questions, which means not yes, no answers. You okay? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Anything I can do? No. Like the end of discussion, really, isn't it? So just try to say, I've noticed you're not really sort of, you don't seem to be feeling yourself lately. Is everything, you know, is there anything you want to talk about? There you go, you know, and just try to open it up. I know it could still be a yes, no, but um, just try to think of things that are, are, are more general. Like, oh, it's tough, isn't it, this lockdown? How, how's it making you feel? That's a good one, because like, you can't really say yes or no to that one. So just have a think about ways you could speak to people, or if you were feeling like that, and you may be, um, what what would help draw that out for you, how, how you can start up a conversation. As I say, there's lots of great tips online for this kind of thing as well. So you can find something for, depending on what that person's like. Um, and then, you know, just being a good listener. It's not always about giving lots of advice. Some people really hate it if you if you want to advise them all the time. So, but just let them know you're listening. Make really good eye contact. So that means not, yeah, mm -hmm. looking down at, at your phone every couple of minutes or less. Um, you know, and, and maybe you can say back what they what they've they've just said to you and just say so so you're saying that you feel like this is it because because of that um and also try not to put your own spin on it as particularly a negative one try not to make it even more negative than it already is so if you're um you know if somebody sort of says oh well you know um i've had a fallout with my girlfriend oh yeah yeah women are awful aren't they oh yeah you know or or oh yeah she was always a cow wasn't she <laughs> that's not going to be very helpful is it at all so um just yeah just try not to make things even more negative but you think you're supporting somebody but it's not it's not helpful um and sometimes you might have to try a few times so they might not be ready to speak to you now but you can just say you know i'm here for you don't you you know if you ever want to talk you know where i am just send me a message just give me a call whatever you you like um and you could say if, if they feel if it feels like they are ready you could say have you have you tried speaking to your GP or have you tried this app? It's really good, this this mindfulness app or this um, SAM, this, this self-help anxiety management app or um, try the Samar uh, Samaritans and see, um, you know, see if there's anyone you might want to talk to about it. That kind of thing. So just try to offer up uh, some nice tools that aren't too you know, right, well you, well, you need to go and get help now, you know, you must phone up the doctor today and da, 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 da. Just try to be quite gentle about it, but let them know that you're there for them. It's really, really important. So, yeah, Brew Monday, everybody. So it's not too late. I know it's like the evening now, but it isn't too late to maybe send out a few messages and ask some people if they'd like to get on a quick brew with you, or, or you might have people in your social bubble you can do that with. Just sit, grab a cuppa, in fact, it's getting to the time of evening where it probably doesn't you have to just be a cup of tea or coffee. <coughs> what I'm saying. So, um, yeah. Um, <laughs> no. So yeah, have a, have a think of some people you can perhaps get together and just have a have a cup and a chat. It's it's such a lovely thing when we can do this in person. But right now, most of us can't be with most of the people that we'd like to be with. So let's just make the most of what we've got, eh? All right, lovely people. Thank you so much for listening. Enjoy Brew Monday. Try not to make it too much of a Blue Monday by connecting. Okay, take care. See you soon.